What's good with y'all, man? We on the Patreon with this one. This one may hit YouTube, but it's going to hit YouTube way later than Patreon. So all y'all got to do to get early access, 1v1 talks, even my meal plans or just my day-to-day -day life, nearly like day-to-day -day life experiences that I go through, which I'm probably going to make later on today for another Patreon video. Links is all in the description. It's literally titled All My Links. It's a link tree link. Just tap it. You'll see my YouTube, Kick, Twitch, everything. I'm going to be streaming on Kick almost every day. So if y'all want to see some funny ass gameplay and see me motherfucking go ham on Fortnite or 2K, whatever game I'm playing, I'm about to go ham, man. I don't give a fuck. Or if y'all just want some advice that's like right dead in there, go ahead and just subscribe to the kick. It's free. It don't cost nothing. Just go ahead and follow the kick. And when I'm on there, I'm going to let y'all know. And you can just spam the questions. We can go crazy. But today's video, bro, I want to talk about this shit. It's low-key like, it's about chasing, bro. Whether if it's, matter of fact, let's just specifically say relationship, bro. No, I ain't even going to say that. This is for in general, bro. Me personally, I'm not chasing shit. Like, if you don't got the same mutual attraction that I have towards you, it's gonna show. I'm gonna pick up on it. Nigga, I'm gone. I'm not even about to waste my time. I'm not even about to, well, actually, I'm not even wasting your time at that point because I'm not even a priority for you to even look towards my direction. So I'm not even about to keep looking towards you and you looking, like, you turn around and walking this way. Like, you see me, I'm walking like this, and then you start walking like this. I'm not about to keep doing this, bro. I'm not. Until I go like this and you turn around and see me and then you go like this, then we meet. Hell yeah. Friendship, connection, whatever, whatever connection we got, my nigga. We good. But, bro, if you turning around and not even looking my direction or if I'm looking at you and you look over me. Oh, yeah, I'm gone, my nigga. And I ain't gonna cap. I'm the type of person, like, I got to the point, bro, I'm not playing with nobody. Like, my nigga, if we gonna be cool, we gonna, I always been like this. We gonna be strictly fucking cool. Sometimes you really can't tell because y'all may just end up messing with each other. Like, it's just what it is. But if I want a relationship out of you, I'm not finna talk to you how I talk to my homies. As in girls, nigga, I'm, I'm, I don't rock that way. No, no issue if you do, my nigga, but I personally don't. I just call my girls as friends, homies, too, because, like, Nigga, I play Fortnite with you as if I play Fortnite with my homeboy. Like, it's the same shit. To me, it's the same shit. I look at you no different. But in a relationship, my nigga, hell yeah. My young getting spent. Most, not most of my time being dedicated towards you, but like, we gonna have time together, nigga. We gonna go out. You don't even have to touch. I don't even want you to touch your wallet. Like, that's how I am, personally. And I want you to grow as a person. And I'm not settling for shit, bro. I'm not gonna lie. If you don't meet the criteria, not even criteria. If you don't meet the person that I am at the moment. Because I say everyone is a reflection of you. Not fully a reflection of you, but a part of you is that reflection. You know what I'm saying? If you don't mostly meet who I am at that moment, you're cooked, nigga. You're gone. We maybe can be cool to a certain extent. Until you get the tripping or some other shit. Or honestly, even until my feelings get involved, my nigga. Like, if I notice that you just, like, playing games, you on some childish shit. Bro, just go, my nigga. Like, I didn't already, not even had that fun because I never did nothing like that. But, like, I'm not even, I was never like that. I don't want to fucking deal with you being a kid, my nigga. Like, but if you came on some mature shit, like, hey, I ain't gonna lie. I just want to grow with you. Whatever happens, happens. But our main goal is to grow together. If our main goal is to grow together, man, hell yeah. But it's just, mm. If I'm going like this, because right now I don't got time, bro. I'm not going to lie. Right now I don't have time for no one to be like in my ear and I'm fucking working and shit all the time. My fault. My nigga had called me, but I forgot what the fuck I was even saying. But me personally, I never understood chasing a motherfucker. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm not about to chase you. I get no enjoyment from that shit. At the end of the day, I blame myself for chasing if I do end up chasing somebody. Because I should have been smart enough to know, like... All right, nigga, you're kind of chasing. If I feel like I gotta get out of my out of my comfort zone to get with you, my nigga, that shit is I'm that shit tough. Cause there's somebody right here that's waiting for me. What the fuck? That'll give me the world, nigga. If I just stop chasing you, start being myself, attracting who I really want to be, and then I really attract my reflection. You know what I'm saying? Like my whole other half type shit. And you can do the same thing, nigga. You steady chasing this person. They don't even want your ass. They just toying with your feelings. At the end of the day, you only got a short amount of time that you hear. Why the fuck is you chasing somebody that don't want you, bro? When it's someone right over here that will treat you the greatest you've ever been treated. May not look the best to you. I mean, you can be attracted to them a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But this person to give you the world, nigga, you'll be happy as fuck with this person rather than with this person you with this toxic ass shit man get the like i never understood i never found joy in being toxic my nigga like i don't understand that shit at all and i'm pretty sure a lot of y'all can see that shit too like y'all a lot of y'all not toxic at all and that's why we're not really in relationships with a lot of people and once we do get a relationship it's long you feel me but if you're showing early signs of me chasing or you being toxic nigga get the fuck out like i'm not i'm, I'm cool man 
I'm not messing with you at all, bro. And I kind of tie with my old self-respect video. Go ahead and watch that. Is what you allow, bro. If you allowing this person to fucking toy. At that end of the day, they toying with you, my nigga. Like, you getting late responses. I didn't have people do this to me. Like, I didn't have people give me, like, late responses. Talking about, oh, I'm a bad texter. Or, like, even motherfucking ghost me, bro. Go ahead, cuz. I'm not about to stay. Go. Like, like for example, I didn't have somebody, me and her was texting. Like, we was just cool, though. Like, we was just cool. But, like, it was something there, right? Nigga, she stopped texting me. I'm like, oh, okay. Peace, my nigga. Like, there's no, no hurt feelings, nothing. Like. I didn't really hold you up to that expectation anyway, and that's another thing you can't hold expectation up to people. I'm gonna make another video about that. That's a whole nother video. But I didn't hold that expectation, so when she left, nigga, it didn't hurt me. And one thing, bro, I'm focused on me right now. So if you leave, I don't give a fuck. You was meant to leave because someone else is coming. Matter of fact, I have more time for me to work on myself. So I'm not fucking worried about if you leave, if you leave, if you doing all these tricks and games and shit. Do that with somebody else that feel like they deserve it because I know I don't. I know what I deserve, and I know what I deserve is coming. But yeah, bro, don't chase nigga the track. Become the person that you feel like deserves these certain connections that you do crave, and they will come. It's just that simple. It takes time. Have fucking patience. You got to work on yourself, bro. You got to work on yourself. I'm telling you, you'll, you'll start, bro. The people that I've been meeting since I really got on my grind with myself, semen retention, meditating, working out, just taking care of my mental health, bro. Even going outside when it's snowing and fucking walking when no one is out there, no cars, nothing. Bro, the people I've been meeting is fucking amazing. Like, it's crazy. We have good-ass conversations. And it don't even always have to be about relationship, bro. It could just be you meeting somebody that's on the same frequency and y'all niggas just having fucking crazy conversations. You creating content together, nigga. Like, they tell you about food that they eating and they journey. You tell them your journey, like, y'all both just grow together like you just meet so many better people when you on your shit bro i'm not gonna lie but yeah bro i ain't gonna make this too long i got a few other videos i'm gonna make probably tomorrow or even later on today when i'm bored so i'm gonna see y'all next video make sure y'all like comment if you're new subscribe this is not youtube well it, it may be youtube but we got more bangers on the way